welcome back in Portugal. The reason why I'm outside here is that our next week's project is going to be something that has to do with these garden tools which are rusting and rotting because they're just outside. And uh, because, well, it seems like we're going to have spring. It's going to be better weather. But uh, it's a bit windy, so let's go inside. It's still a bit cold, but sun is shining and hopefully all these rainstorms and bad weather is coming to an end now. It's time for it, you know. We're sick of winter. So I've got a few things to talk about. First of all, we got a like a little supermarket here in town. And they had like transparent lacquer for $1.99, which is great, and it's German Baufix, so it's it's a good brand. So I've got myself some uh, brilliant and transparent uh, stuff and one black. Great, and they also had like well bits drill bits with the uh, tapering uh, thing on it. Great for $3.99 and some dowel making bits also for $3.99 so oh, I was like spending money you know. <laughs> well I do have of course other news and that's about the scroll saw so let's see what's happening. So it's only a week ago or a bit more that I uh, talked about my old scroll saw and uh, that I was looking for blades for it. And yesterday the, uh, the mailman came and he had an envelope and I had to sign like a paper because the envelope was opened and the paper well said that I declared that everything was still in there but how can I know what was in there you know but as it turned out it was okay so got this envelope and uh, in it was a really nice handwritten letter from Rob Appelman from the Netherlands and he saw my video and he said well I've got a few of these uh, saw blades for you I will send them to you to Portugal and uh, you can try it out whether the machine still works so <laughs> I'm really really thankful for that really thank you Rob and uh, well I've got a few, there are four blades in there and well I'm sharing with you the moment of putting them in and see if the machine still works so let's see what kind of, well, it's even different kinds of blades so let's take one of these and put it in. Well I guess I have to put it underneath there see if I can do that. Yeah, I think it's stuck in there. Well, I think I should take this off. But, and then I have to pull this down and see if it will slide over. It does. So, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Now you can see it's still covered in a lot of dust, but I didn't want to do anything to it until I'm sure that it works and I don't want to buy blades or whatever but this is the moment hey! Hey! 
it works. So let's try a little piece of plywood and see if it will cut. It does. Marvelous. That makes life much, much, much easier. So, thank you Rob. Thank you very, very much for sending me these blades. Now of course, now I'm going to clean it up and it's, the base is completely rusted and things. So I'm going to take it apart for as far as I can do that because this is not really possible to take apart. But I'm going to try to give the new coat of paint and well, just an oil it here and there and I'm really really happy with the saw she sent me. Now I can you know, try it out because the motor won't run if there are no saws in there. Some kind of, I don't know. So thank you very much for your letter and thank you very much for sending me those saws. And by the way, we do have the same, <laughs> we do have the same Vista print uh, business cards, exactly the same just a coincidence and um, well thank you for that uh, I'll put a few of uh, a few links in the description uh, about Rob's Houtmot uh, website he's trying to well, put on like a, a Dutch woodworkers website for people who speak Dutch so it's I'll just put the links in there and then you can see for yourself really really great So the upcoming project has to do with garden tools, a bit of reclaimed wood and four of those shutters that I well, found. Uh, they're not really straight and they're a bit, you know, warped and things like that, but it's hardwood so, and they're not rotten or anything, so I think I can use them. And it's going to be something that I'm going to make, well, for a garden tool. Then there's one other thing I would like to talk about. And that's woodworking in Portugal. So, there are not many video taping woodworkers in Portugal. But, I know three including myself. Now I'm the kind of, you know, low budget reclaiming, recycling kind of woodworker and I'll just make anything I want to make uh, without spending, well, but almost spending any money. Well, <laughs> or I have to find lacquer or a few drill bits or whatever very cheap then I'll spend some money. Now We've got at least two other woodworkers on YouTube. Uh, first of all, it's uh, Christiana Filgueras, when I say it right. And she is making beautiful things. She's really good in videoing, so the videos are really nice to watch. And her channel is called Get Hands Dirty. And I know many people know her because she's got like... 13,000 subscribers or so, so, but still, you could, you know, never have heard of her, so check her out, and the links to her YouTube channel and her website are below in the subscriptions. Then there is Augusto Campos, and he does another kind of woodworking, it's mostly hand tools, and he doesn't speak English in his YouTube videos, but they are so, well, let's say so to the point and uh, so into the detail that you don't have to understand what the language is, you can see it by the video. So, and there are a few projects on now 
that are really really good to look at and of course his links are in the description below to to his YouTube channel and to his website it's called Blog de Madeiras and he's from Coimbra which is only about 70 75 kilometers from here and I'm certain we will meet up someday and uh, well we already said talk about woodworking and have a beer uh, so that's it for this shop talk or update or whatever you want to call it so that's it for now do some woodworking it's a nice way to spend your time and I would say I hope to see you back on Friday or Saturday with the next video but for now ciao so coffee, coffee.